Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your girl Alicia X Life, and today I'm going to teach you a little bit about Kazuha and break down his abilities further. I'm also going to go into depth about how to use him properly and efficiently in a comp to help you optimize your damage and also uh, hopefully give you a little bit more insight about and knowledge of understanding how Swirl truly works. I feel like a big issue a lot of people run into when it comes to Genshin is not truly understanding how elemental reactions work with one another. And this one is definitely a gray zone when it comes to Swirl. So I'm going to try to clarify it for you a little bit in relation to his abilities and kit. Let's get into it. Before we get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications. Also, hit that like button. Smack that like button. Smack, smack, smack. Oh my god, my arms glitch up. Smack, 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 smack. The like button. Yeah. But once in a while, from the deck Dates of the Alcor, flagship <laughs> of the heavily armed Crux fleet, the soft sound of a flute. Oh my can God, be heard. Beto! Following the She's ocean so freaking breeze cool. to wherever it may lead, trace the sound back to its source, and you will see a young samurai of Inazuma calmly sitting in a crow's nest. I always love how they do these because, like, taking in the sights and sounds. They keep it so engaging. World. So even people who but like might not be interested in like story, all the information about the character, they, know little they make it so aesthetically you. pleasing. All it's they like they do such a great job. They do such a great job. sailor from Inazuma. His name is Kaidahara Kazuha. Kaidahara Kazuha. Or winds that churn. I shall return by blade alone, armed if barefoot. What they miss Pretty is boy, a swift sweat. and deadly samurai wanderer oh my who is God. not to be taken that aggressive lightly. Look. Kaidahara Kazuha has the ability to manipulate Animo and provides an elemental damage bonus for members of his party. Also with his Oh, okay, okay, perfect time, perfect time, perfect time. Okay, so let's go over Swirl. So here we're going to see an interaction between um, um, Electro and three units. Okay, three units being affected by Le Electro. So one thing to keep in mind, um, editing Alicia, draw pictures to make this easier. But we're going to have is um, if there is an enemy, right? let's say like a party of three, and only one of them are affected by Electro, that means when we swirl, it will only do um three hits of swirl to those other like in total because they'll be the affected enemy and then it'll be the other two being affected by that now in this instance that we see on the screen three enemies are being affected which means that we're going to get nine instances of swirl occurring which seems like wait how why like right but in reality it's interacting individually with each unit for example this one is swirling effect onto the other two that one's swirling the effect onto the other two, and so on and so forth. So we're going to get nine instances of swirl, which is why your damage is a lot higher. Now, how do you use this efficiently? Well, swirl can only occur once an element has been placed onto a character. Swirl is not initiated from a character, and this is really deceiving when it comes to how it looks in game, because when you do damage as an animo character, it'll show up as that teal blue sort of font, but in reality, it's the the indicator of if it is a swirl damage or not is not based on the teal blue um, lettering or numbering, but instead actually the, num the numbering that is the color of the elemental reaction. So, for example, in this we would see, um, like, Kazuha is going to do his little teal damage normally like you would see it here. And then you would see the purple stat come up. And that would be the one that is actually the swirl effect here. Um, so we're going to play it through, it's going to play in slow-mo, bam, here we go, he's using his E's elemental skill, knocking them up and going to be dealing animal damage with a plunging attack that leaves a remainder after two that continues to suck them in. And this will all continue to create the nine, the nine instances of swirl. Now, with that in mind, how do you continue to build your damage upon that, right? Because you used him, you bursted, now what comes next? Well, the suck keeps going, right? And that's when I would either swap in a pyro character, maybe like a Bennett or something if you wanted to. Oh my goodness gracious, my arms. Um, I would swap in like a Bennett or something. And when you do that, it um, allows you to create overload. You can throw in an ice character like Chung Min and get, um, uh, get super conduct even, right? Like in this instance, for example. Initiating with Electro, that is, right? So things like that will help you when it comes to building your comps and understanding that he is meant to create a lot of AoE damage as an animal character creating Swirl. Alright, and now we are going to go back to normal speed and volume. Until damage bonus. 
he can make frequent use of special plunging attacks that keep enemies grouped together, providing great support to his party. Yeah, see that? So perfect. Like how they showed it here is perfect. Is that they swapped into a Hydro character to show you that like cool, you got the swirl effect and now look at the markers. They just created the reaction of Hydro and Electro together because of that. Now keep in mind, super important. Whatever element you initiate onto a unit and then you add swirl after. It's not the other way around. You don't use Animo first and then hit them, okay? So that's how you create the reaction combo properly. Like a leaf on the breeze, he is light as a feather and swift as a blade. When Kaidahara Kazuha is in your party, he reduces sprinting stamina consumption for your party members, making exploration zoom, faster. Zoom. Kazuha's normal attack can combo up to five strikes that deal physical damage to enemies. Whoa, we got a f he's physical damage. He's physical damage? Okay, because I had this conversation on stream before where I was like, Pale Flame is the better version of Bloodstain. And I'm like, what the hell, man? And I'm like, but we don't, like, like what is going on here? Like, what would make you, what would force you to use Bloodstain or Pale Flame in comparison to each other? And it's like, if you want to run DPS Kazuha, yeah, you could run Pale Flame. Yeah, you could run Bloodstain. Yeah, you could run physical damage, right? But... There's two things I want you to keep in mind, right? Because at the end of the day, theory crafting is all up to the person and the user who's utilizing it. If I wanted to run goddamn Maiden's Beloved on him, I could. But it's not going to work, but I mean, like, it's just up to you at the end of the day. But I'm going to give you some options for builds to make it a little bit easier. Um, obviously, you need Elemental Mastery. For those of you who don't understand how Elemental Mastery works, it is... It is, <laughs> ugh, it's a little complicated, but basically, um, it's what creates your big old damages when it comes to your interactions. Elemental Mastery only is utilized when you are affecting as the secondary party. So for example, animal characters only can create Swirl as a secondary party. So when you have one unit initiate, their Elemental Mastery means nothing. They could have literally zero Elemental Mastery and it won't be affected. But the second unit to interact with it is what creates the elemental mastery to be in, put into effect. So him having high elemental mastery matters. It really does matter. So if I were you, I would run... I mean, there's also the option of running Verdescence if you wanted to, which is the Animo um, interaction. Because what he does actually is he gives everybody a buff and he also busts out a lot of Animo damage in general. So if you wanted to, you could actually run Animo artifacts and run a four piece and then just focus on your substats being completely elemental mastery. I feel like that's maybe the best move for him as a burst support. Um, and in addition, you can do energy recharge if you want to, but he's an off field support. So, regardless, you're going to put in a lot of work with him. Um, that's my recommendation for sure. Attack can combo up to five strikes that deal physical damage to enemies. Oh yeah, some people might try to run Noblis. That's also fine to do too. You can run Noblis on him. Because in reality, we all have been... Like, if you grind artifacts efficiently and have good comps, you're going to have a lot of Noblis just sitting around anyways because running Noblis on supports is pretty huge. Um, running Noblis is fine too. Um, but in reality, I would probably run Verdescence just to see how high he can get his Animo going just because his interactions and cooldowns seem pretty low. Hold the attack button to consume a set amount of stamina and perform two swift slashes to his front. Oh, high whoa, that's an insane pushback. That is mass, that's as far as a Claymore user. That is, that is massive Physical for damage. pushback. While Kazuha is airborne, pressing the attack button causes him to perform a plunging attack, damaging opponents along the path and dealing AOE damage upon impact. Tap. Wait, from just running? Was that what he said? Did I miss that? airborne pressing the attack button causes him to perform a plunging attack damaging opponents along the path and dealing oh no he, he, he jumped onto a rock impact. okay I, I, I saw him just run and i didn't see him go up onto a rock to jump down i was like what the hell <laughs> i was like from neutral i freaked out we're good we're good we're good Chihayaburu Chihayaburu. To a secret blade technique 
pulling enemies and objects toward him, launching enemies within his range, and dealing animo damage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kazuhai uses happening. the gust of wind generated in this moment to soar up into the air. For a short period after using Chihayaburu, okay. while Kazuha remains airborne, he can unleash a powerful plunging attack, Midare Ranzan. Okay, so Ranzan and Chihayaburu. So Chihayaburu is what we're going to be using to create the initial swirl, and then uh, me what? attack, Midare Ranzan. Ranzan, Ranzan. Okay, and then Ranzan is going to create to continue the pull in afterwards. So we get two pulls in. Um, for those of you who are wondering, like, okay, like, why would I not use Venti for the same accomplishment when Venti seems to be more efficient in the sense and have a longer sustaining um, pull and a larger area of effect? The only way I could see an issue with this would be is if if you could only create that small area. Venti's cooldown. For his E is probably going to be longer than Kazuha's in reality. But what I'm hoping for is that he has a held version. The damage dealt by this plunging attack is converted to animo damage. If he when doesn't, Kazuha then... Lands, he uses another secret blade technique to create a wind tunnel that pulls in nearby enemies yeah, and objects. Yeah, that makes sense. With this effect, Kazuha can We saw that in the, in the 1.6 trailer. Place, allowing other party members to attack more efficiently. Chihayaburu is a skill that can be used while airborne. Yikes! Giving Kazuha great agility when Are out they... exploring. Sorry, this is fine. I'm, I'm just wondering. Is held instead of oh, literally, as much to bring up this point, I was like, man, if they don't have a held version of this to make it larger, that's actually an issue with the character. That's gonna be way too small. When Chihayaburu is held instead of tapped, Kazuha deals increased animo damage over a wider area. Oh my god! Jinyan! Okay, so if you run- sorry, that's Shangling on the screen, but Jinyan, right? Hear me out, hear me out. Huge, 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 huge. If you run a Jinyan with him, you could get your shield first, create the pyro, um, the first pyro placement, and then go for the held E so you don't get interrupts, and then BAM! Go hard in the paint. Because you won't have to worry about incoming damage while you're holding your E-charge and getting a massive swirl. Kazuha deals increased animo damage over a wider area. So Chihayabaru? Into Ranzan? After unlocking the How long does that pull last for? Kazuha's elemental One, skill two, can absorb three. Hydro, Pyro, Seems like three to four seconds. They haven't shown anything cast. longer. If a Midare Ranzan plunging attack is performed before Chihayaburu's effects expire, it deals additional elemental damage of the absorbed element. Only- Wait, 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 Are you telling me two swirls? Is that what he's trying to say? It deals additional elemental damage of the absorbed element. Only one elemental absorption can occur per Chihayaburu. Oh my god. Oh my god! Wait a second! Oh, what? No way! That is huge! Back to back effects? Okay, 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 okay. So, the reason why that's huge is imagine, right? You do your Jinyan, right? Your Jinyan affects, let's say, three units, for example, right? She affects three units, and then you drop official Oz, like you say it like C6 special, like you drop Oz down, right? You go into Chi Hayabaru, you create overload with. You, you create swirl first because you'll have enough time to be able to cast because Oz has a cast time. So you create, you create your nine swirls, you go into your absorption. And create multiple overloads and then overload over time because you have a secondary because that's the thing is that you wouldn't just get like you get swirl overload and then your plunging attack affects it based on what was absorbed and you can't do more than one so you would basically reset them into fire again which would create another swirl effect right and that would create overload again because your fish because your oz is already out so you get double overload and literally 18 times swirl in the, in the situation of having three units? That is incredible! 
That is, what is the cooldown of that? I hope to God it's low. Because the only way to make this relevant is if it's super low. Because Venti is still tech, it's, Venti's still better for, do, for accomplishing this, for gathering units, right? Venti is still the better version. So what they need to do is have this have a super low cooldown for this to be a strong, strong unit. Clouds hide. The birds call! Kaidahara Kazuha's mm -hmm. elemental burst is the pinnacle achievement of his self-taught blade work. He strikes with the force of the first winds of autumn, One. dealing AoE animo damage. Every sec this every two seconds. This is a field called Autumn Whirlwind. The field periodically deals animo damage to enemies within it. If Autumn Whirlwind comes into contact with Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro, okay, it will absorb that element and deal additional elemental damage. Okay, so it could only absorb one element. Okay, that was gonna be my next question, right? Is that each time it bursts like that, it's bursting with that effect. So am I getting the swirl effect each of those times? The answer would be yes, because it has absorption. So let's say that it pumps out three times. Three, okay, back again, let's do it again. Three units affected by swirl, nine times out of three. Like then you get 27 effects of swirl. With adults in that same scenario that we have elemental before. absorption may only occur once in its duration. Kazuha can use the autumn whirlwind field mm -hmm. to easily affect multiple enemies with an element, creating ideal opportunities for his allies to attack. Yep. So basically, um, with that, you can create him to do that. Sw switch him out. He's such a good off-field burst, and the, the the fact that they use Xing Chu to show like, side by side also says something too. Because Xing Chu is a great off, like, he's a great like um burst support DPS. But Kazuha, I feel like has like a lot of versatility as a utility unit. I mean, of course, every character can be built as a damage character. Listen, if you want to use Kazuha as a damage carry, go for it. Right at the end of the day, it's your game, and you're the one spending money. Have fun, right? If you need help with building it into a damaged like, character, let me know in my Discord, and I will help you build it, build him to be strong as a damage character, as a DPS for you. If you want to build him in a support aspect, or you need help building him in general, feel free to message in the Discord. I'm more than happy to kind of walk you through. Um, I'll tell you if your substats are good enough to roll on. Like, we'll we'll make sure that you're all set for Kazuha. I feel like one of the sad parts about the community right now is that everyone's kind of wanting to skip on him and they find him lackluster in playstyle and I think it's really sad because he's a really cool unit and I feel like if people understood how incredible the concept of Swirl is they would give him a stronger chance. To all within its vast reach and knows the coming fall from the first withered leaf. For a set duration after Kazuha triggers a Swirl reaction all party members receive a damage bonus for the corresponding element. The bonus scales off of Kazuha's Elemental Mastery. Oh my god, dude. Yes, build the Elemental Mastery as your main substat. That's crazy. Anyways, um, one of the things uh, I want to mention here too, right, is that this is a weird scenario to be in, right? Because whatever affected... Because normally how you work with units is you swap in and out, right? And what I told you guys about Swirl is that you need to initiate with an element, swirl with him, and then you can create a reaction with a different character. In this instance, whatever element created that reaction will be the one that's damaging, doing bonus damage. I'm gonna just make sure I re-listen to that to make sure I'm correct. Damage bonus for the corresponding element. For the corresponding element. Now keep in mind, if you did a comp with a Bennett and a D Luke, holy hell. Initiate with Bennett, throw D Luke out, I mean throw Kazuha in, deal massive damage with D Luke. That is already super solid. That comp right there, bam. Like, get a shield character after, or run run Fischl, like, for overload. Like, that's that's an option for sure, right? Like, it's it's insane how versatile that can be if you run a double of one type of unit, or if you choose to not run a double of one type of unit, the other alternative would be um, having your main DPS initiate, and when their uh, elemental skill goes on cooldown, switching to Kazuha, putting, out your, putting in your work, and then switching back to your uh, main DPS character. And then that 
would be to get the buff. Whatever one he created, Squirrel Life. No, that doesn't even affect your combo. What you could do, literally, sorry. Sorry, Theory Crafting Live always like kind of messes with my brain. Um, because even then, you don't actually have to swap back to that character. You could still use your other character for their burst and then swap back to your main DPS. That would be affected. Because what happens is it all depends on whatever he created that Swirl with, right? So that doesn't change the fact that he created Swirl with, for example, a Pyro character. Let's say that I um I use Bennett, bam, I throw up my E, right? Kazuha creates Swirl. And then I switch over to Fischl and I drop her Oz, and then I switch to Diluc, right? And the thing is, is that Kazuha affected Pyro. So that technically should still work with my Diluc coming out. And on top of that, if I have C6 Fischl, I'm getting um, the extra hit with 20% bonus uh, electro, damage done, uh, electro damage done from her, from the percentage of her actual attack. 20% of her attack is electro damage, sorry. Really wordy there. 20% of her attack done is electro damage. So that would work there, and then um, you'd also have Diluc hitting out bonus damage, about 20%, right? As a bonus increase from Kazuha because of the passive, and in addition to that would be his pyro buff as well from running Bennett and Diluc together. I think Kazuha is the perfect unit for any person who mains that comp, so. Uh, mind you, you lack the a shield character in that, in that comp, so I don't know if you feel comfortable running without a shield, but if it is an option if you're okay with it. bonuses are gained in this manner, they are applied concurrently. Kaidahara Kazuha's Elemental Mastery. If multiple elemental damage bonuses are gained in this manner, they are applied concurrently. Nice, nice. So it's like if you have a bunch of supports that are also creating effects, they still they still keep going. We're Kaidahara good. Kaidahara Kazuha has roamed far and wide and is acutely sensitive to changes in the natural environment. When the way ahead is rocky, his mastery of Animo allows him to swiftly turn the tide of the battle guiding the whole party to victory. In mm -hmm. combat, he coordinates closely with his teammates to apply elements to enemies. Then, he uses his elemental skill to gain control over the opponents, yep. following up here and there with powerful plunging attacks to keep them where he wants them, while also activating Poetics of Fubutsu, which provides elemental damage bonuses, enhancing the whole party's attack capabilities. When energy is full, Kaidahara Kazuha unleashes his element. Cool, so he can affect the whole party's effects as well. Not just the, when he has a passive. That's cool. Alright, so that means that... Man, he gets like a lot of buffs coming in. Oh my goodness, my arms are out of whack! My arms are out of whack! I need to unplug my hand tracker. <laughs> Alright. Um, but yeah. Holy smokes, man. This is... Like, that's the thing. I feel so bad when, like, people try to underestimate a character before looking at their kit. And that's the thing, is that every character in Genjin has mad potential. There are some DPS characters that, of course, are S-tier. Like, look at Ganyu. Ganyu is literally godlike, right? She's just a whole different breed of damage. And that's cool, but it's also important to understand and respect the fact that support characters that are five stars can be a thing. They don't always have to be a DPS or a main DPS. And even then, if you wanted to, you could kind of build them as a DPS. I personally wouldn't, because I would like to keep them off-field as much as possible. But at the same time, like, it's, I guess I'll do it, man. Like, I, I just wish that people would give characters more of a shot and more of a chance when it comes to stuff like this. Um. Mental burst, generating an autumn whirlwind field. The field creates the perfect Oh my god, speaking of Ganyu? Mental reactions, turning your party into a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> Kaidahara Kazuha is no aimless wanderer. Mm -hmm. He has a deep sense of purpose. The young samurai left his homeland behind not to part with the past, but in the search for a new hope. As he navigates his path, he charts a course through the myriad of storms that come his way. His exposure to the elements keeps him in touch with nature and connects him with other people who cross his path. Those who choose to defy the gods are destined for hardship. <laughs> But even a maple leaf blowing in the breeze, if maple it falls leaf. into the right company, <laughs> I'm Canadian. It makes me happy. <laughs> and learn to sail the storm winds of the sea to shores beyond the horizon. Man, <laughs> one Dane's voice is super cool, but at the same time, like holy smokes, I'm I'm so excited for this character. I know this is a pretty long video, but I appreciate you guys who stuck around and watched all the way through. 
And for those of you guys who are trying to roll for Kozla, good luck! I believe in you! I'm going to be rolling for him as well on my free-to-play account and trying to show you guys some free-to-play builds for him. I think it's important for me to try to do that too because, as you guys know, I am a whale. I am a whale in Genshin. Um, so I'm trying to use a free-to-play account now to learn the struggles and also help you guys with build as much as I possibly can and how to eco and resource properly. Alright, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Make sure to join my Discord that's in the description below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. And yeah, hit that like button. I'll see you guys later. Bye everybody! Oh, if you have any questions or any help with Genshin stuff, feel free to let me know. And I am more than happy to help out, especially when it comes to artifact builds. I love theory crafting, and I will help you out with your numbers as much as I possibly can. Alright, goodbye, 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 goodbye.